Hi, this is Robert Mack, and today I want to talk about was it price, exposure, or both? Hey, thanks for tuning back in. So if you're watching this video, it's very likely you tried to sell your home and uh, your home was taken off the market for one reason or another and did not sell. Now, if you specifically changed your mind and took your home off the market, then this video may not apply. If you had a problem with your listing, you had a pipe burst and your home came off the market, this video does not apply. This video is being created for a home seller who is highly motivated to sell their home, hired an agent, thought they made the right decision and actually went through the experience and the agent wasn't able to get the job done and now they're stuck in a position of what do I do next? To add insult to injury, they're getting about 100 phone calls a day from aggressive real estate agents saying, I want to list your home. I'm the best. Your agent sucks. And God knows what else they're talking about. And some of these phone calls start as early as 5.30 a.m. It blows my mind. I, I, I talk to a lot of canceled and expired sellers and these are the stories that I hear. But I digress. Price or exposure are the two reasons why a home doesn't sell. Now, it obviously goes a little, a little bit deeper. You know, for price, did you price your home aggressively? Did you price your home high? What was the pricing strategy that you used with your agent? What does the, what is the market telling you? Do you have a lot of competition, right? These are all things you want to focus on when you look at price. What did homes sell for in the last one to three months? Have any homes sold at all? What does the active inventory look like? Are there any pending sales? These are the things you want to talk about with your agent. Price is very important. You know, in the last six or seven years, as the market was appreciating, you could overprice a property to sell and the market would do all the heavy lifting and catch up. That's not the case anymore. Price is crucial when you're listing a property. But let's move over to exposure. What did your agent do to expose the property? Now, exposure is broken up into two parts, in my opinion. Number one, the marketing to get the word out so that all the buyers know about the property being for sale. But also, how does the home show? You know, I mean, part of exposure is, do the photos look great? Is there a video that's associated with this property? Was the property staged? Did a designer even come through to fluff the place up a little bit, right? Because you know, you can do everything in the world to get the word out, but if the buyers see the home online and it doesn't get them excited, or they walk into the house and it doesn't feel exciting to them, I don't care what the price is, I don't care what the exposure is, you're not gonna sell your home for top dollar. So, you're here now and you might be wondering, what is my next step? Well, you wanna talk to some agents, you wanna interview different agents, you wanna talk about, hey, where are we gonna price this property at to get it sold? But most importantly, what are you gonna to do to prepare my home to show its best? And how are you gonna expose it to all the right people that are looking in this area? That's the message for today. I hope you found value in it. If you did, share this video with somebody who might value seeing it. If you saw this on social media, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment or a question. If you are considering putting your home back on the market in 2019 and you wanna know what my opinion of the value of your home is and what we would do to get the home sold for the highest and best price, you can reach out to me. My contact information is on the screen. And if you have any video ideas you want me to talk about in the future, send those my way as well. Until then, happy selling.